Welcome back to the special edition of Tucker Carlson tonight. Throughout the length of this pandemic, we've checked in regularly with Barstool Sports CEO Dave Portnoy about how he's holding up during the lockdowns. Recently, Portnoy had his own scare with the coronavirus. He joins us now to discuss his time in lockdown and what he has learned. Well, President, thank you for joining us tonight. So f first, I have to ask you about the extended period you spent in bed sick. Did you have the virus? Yeah, so I did. I tested positive. So uh, as as we're filming this right now, I just ended my quarantine about two days ago. So I was inside for two, two straight weeks, 14 days. When I made the original video saying I felt sick, I didn't know I had it, but then I got tested and I did indeed have it. I think I've had it like eight times now. Where'd you get it? Do you know? Uh, no. Well, I was in the Hamptons. And I was actually with a group. Uh, it was contagious because like six or seven of us all tested positive who were staying together. So I don't know. I'd love to know who gave it to me, but no, I have no idea how I got it. You were staying with six or seven people at once in the Hamptons. I, I don't feel like I should ask a follow-up question there, but I'm glad you're okay. Well, what it, was you... a, it was a five-bedroom apartment, so I mean, it wasn't <laughs> like we're all crammed together. It was a uh -huh. nice place overlooking the Atlantic. It was beautiful. Well, what have you learned from the whole experience? I mean, you, we've been talking about this virus for months, then you actually got it. What did you learn? Yep. Well, I mean, it, it, I didn't learn anything differently than what I thought. So, uh, you know, I, I was very tired, exhausted for two days. Within the group of us that were staying together, everybody was affected a little bit differently. Um, but, you know, it, it, it was a flu, it was a cold, is kind of what I expected. I was the oldest of the group, I'm in my young 40s, uh, and, and we had everyone from mid 20s to, to my age. And for that demo, uh, some people got sick, some people felt bad for a day. I was sick for, you know, two days and exhausted for really a week and a half. But the bottom line, I think, is what I thought it was. If you don't have underlying symptoms, if you're not already ill or susceptible, and uh, you're relatively young, you're going to get sick and you're going to get over it. It's highly contagious, clearly. But it did it. It did exactly what I thought it would be. I, I mean, it's a real thing. Um, if you're elderly or you are health, you know, impaired, I think it's a real right. concern. But for 99% of the country, it, it acts like the flu. Uh, that's kind of what I think of it. Yeah, well, you, and you experienced it firsthand. So one of the reasons I admire your response to the lockdowns is even though you were shut up in an apartment, you used your time wisely. You were already a mogul, now you're a mega mogul thanks to online trading. What have you learned? How much richer did you get during the coronavirus lockdowns? You know, I don't like to, like to talk about money, but my net worth is probably like almost doubled. Uh, I've, you know, the stock market, it just goes up, Tucker. I've turned into... Uh, I was never a stock market guy, I never traded. I always looked at finance guys like they were pulling a fast one on me. And I think they were, because all you gotta do is buy anything with letters and it seems to go up like 10%. I'm looking at my screen, I'm up 600 grand today trading. Literally, today, I'm watching it in the background here. It's beautiful, I don't know why anyone has a job. All you gotta do is buy stocks and watch them go up. So it's been a very profitable uh, quarantine for me. I didn't know that would be the case, but it has been. And so, but isn't it making you a little nervous? I mean, you're sitting in your apartment, you make 600 grand in one day by investing in companies with letters in the names. Aren't you kind of tempted to just cash out and like buy a bigger place? You know, I'm always tempted, but the nature of my personality, I'm an entrepreneur, I like pushing things. Uh, you know, it, it, if I wasn't somebody who always wanted to build more and accumulate more, I probably wouldn't have started Barstool. So, um, no, yes. I, am I tempted? Yeah, but I want a mega yacht. You don't get mega yachts with 600 grand days. You need like $6 million days. <laughs> you really have taught. I asked you what you've learned. You've taught the rest of us how we should have spent the last four months. But most of it. And didn't. listen, people didn't. are afraid. And now nowadays, I you know, making money. I we're a capitalist society. I don't think you should be ashamed or embarrassed. Um, and hopefully one day I can give back to everybody from my mega yacht. Yeah. Well, call me if, from your stateroom if you don't mind. Dave Portnoy, thank you. Thanks for having me.